Hi, I'm Davila. Today I'm going to demo how the Squiz Work solution enables organizations to capture snapshots of their digital content at a point in time. In traditional version control, we typically only track the individual content changes, but Work preserves the entire solution from wherever the content is getting rendered from, whether that's in the CMS, third-party embedded content, third-party style sheets, PDFs, images, and more. And it preserves exactly how it was seen by the public as a whole at that point in time. So what we're solving in this video is a common requirement for when government agencies need to maintain records of their interactions with the public for a specific period of time. I'm going to show you how the Squiz Work solution does that on this example policy page. We'll see this in action here. So here is a page in our CMS that is presenting some information about health and safety policies. Content like this is public and anyone viewing this page may reference information they read on it today, in the future, or even what was published in the past if they had come to the site before. So we want to make sure every change made to this page is tracked and we have an audit trail of exactly what this page looked like to the public. So we'll start by editing this page in the Squiz CMS. What I'll do here in the editing interface is I will just change the photo of the hero banner to look at another photo. I'll look at an image that I have in my media gallery. Great, and then I will also go down and edit some of the text that I have here. Maybe I'll add um, some content about general requirements. Clean this up and then I will add a link to a related form. Okay. That's all, some new text and an image. So what I'll do now is I'll just come up here and I'll hit save. And I'll change the content from unpublished to live. Next, I'll head over to Squiz Connect. And this is the low code integration platform as a service at Squiz where you can create and manage integrations um, that you've got with your Squiz DXP. RCMS has integrated with Squiz Connect here to begin the work solution whenever a live page is created or updated. And you can see the flows are now running because I published my page. This is the first flow in Squiz Connect that will take in the data sent from our CMS and generate a work file. And then this is the flow where the work file actually gets stored. So Connect will read that work file that's just been generated and then it will send it to the chosen storage solution. And for this demo, as you can see, we're using the Amazon S3 bucket, which is an example storage solution on AWS. However, this step of the flow can be swapped out with your storage solution component to complete the same steps because Connect can actually be used to integrate with almost any cloud storage services. So you can just swap out this component and put in your storage solution here. And for this demo, I am actually tracking the request in a Google spreadsheet that Squiz Connect automatically updates every time a work file is generated and stored. And again, you can use your preferred log sheets for this step or a database that you like to track these requests in. So I'll go and open up this Google spreadsheet now. Now this step is really useful because essentially it will spit out the S3 key for me whenever I need to log on to the AWS console to locate this archived object. Um, and any storage solution you're using will include some unique ID like this that you can use in the same way. Uh, once the flows are complete, then we've got these timestamps listed here as individual rows. So I can kind of see an audit trail already happening for my specific page. And I'll also be able to look at the downloadable work file of my page. I'll open the previous work file that I've got here from before my latest change so you can see what was stored. I'm just using an open source web archive viewer tool here to list every resource that was archived. This includes images, style sheets, and attached files, even if they weren't hosted in our CMS. And each link is actually the preserved copy of what was available at this moment in time. So I'll go down here and show the content of my web page, which is the text HTML version. And you can see the timestamp listed here. So this is how it has been archived. This shows the page exactly how it looked to the public as you saw before I had made those changes earlier. And I'll go back to my live page. I'll refresh because it's showing the old content. Cool. And now I can see my new content that is live. I have my new hero banner and the text that I pasted here. We can go back and just compare it with that previous version. And if I refresh this 
version here, you can see it still shows the previous version that's been tracked. So that has been preserved and it cannot change. And everyone knows I've got this image of trees on my previous page. Now I'm going to go back to the Google spreadsheets here. And because I have this audit trail getting populated in my spreadsheet, I can then go ahead and open up the latest version that has been archived. I'll scroll down again and go back to my page, the new page, as you can see the timestamp. And now I can compare the work file. So I can look at the timestamp listed here. And I can also look at my other one and look at the timestamp there. So as you can see, I've got this audit trail already started and I can start comparing how my pages have looked to the public in the past. So the solution I showed you was based on the web archive solution getting triggered by the CMS whenever content is created or updated. So most web archive solutions only allow users to archive web pages on a schedule, but as you can see, Squiz offers this on-demand solution. And Squiz also provides a solution for you to schedule when you want to take the snapshots based on pages available in a sitemap. The end results are the same, but you can determine how often you want to preserve your digital content if you don't need it done at creation or update time. So you can see how the Squiz work solution can help ensure that government websites and online content are preserved. Squiz lets you choose when you want to archive and lets you have that choice of storage services. Remember, this doesn't just include the content on a page like what traditional version control does. Instead, this captures all related web content for future reference, research, and historical documentation. Squiz Web Archive is also part of the Squiz DXP, so it's an extendable solution, meaning you can easily extend your archive library, set up Squiz Funnel Back Search to crawl old pages and archive pages in your history, or create automated notifications for when content is archived. So if you want to see more, go ahead and book a demo to see what else the Squiz DXP can do for you. Thanks.